Welcome to Out of the Rough. I'm Fred Arnold. In this show, we're going to highlight opportunities and solutions to help get you out of the rough and into success, both personally and professionally. In these tough economic times, I want to provide you practical solutions to many of today's challenges. And today, I'm uh, joined by my Denise O'Brien, my good friend Denise O'Brien, who's been on the show I'm a many good times. Now. Yay. Yeah. I think this is your fourth show on so. Out of the Rough. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. very exciting. Great publicist, works Thank a lot you. in L.A., loves working in L.A. I yeah. do like, like working in L.A. Yeah. Yeah. Tell yes. us about the red carpet, the, difference, the different hats you wear on the red carpet. I see you on the red carpet all the oh. time. Oh, well, on the red carpet, that's actually interesting that you brought that up because that's the name of a new startup that I'm getting ready to do. But what I love about the red carpet is that there's a variety of people in Hollywood. And I work with corporate clients and I work with celebrity clients and the mix on the red carpet is always really really fun so for example I was just actually out with Sue Wong I in fact I wore her scarf which is a, a nice. very fun designer I wore that in her honor today uh, being able to have the opportunity to work with celebrities that have amazing product whether it be a book whether it be a movie a TV show or in her case fashion you know there's a lot of good extra perks of just being on the red carpet and having the time to um, Celebrate, because that's what my job is as a publicist, is celebrate someone's life, to tell a story. I've been telling stories since I was a little girl in picture form and, you know, always in journalism and writing, and now it's like video and Vine and all the new ways that we can promote and support somebody's career. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw something at you. Okay. That I, I don't think you're expecting me to ask. Okay. Give me a, give me a story of somebody oh. that, it, it didn't have to be an A-list celebrity, but somebody uh -huh. where they wrote a book or they did something really neat, and you were able to blow it up to a different level. Well, that's really an amazing question because that's exactly what we do. And the, the, the good news is, is like, for example, I have a client and his name's Zephyrine. And he actually lives in India. That's a beautiful name. And his God gave him his name, and that's a whole other spiritual journey of his. But he uh, actually searched me out and came to America to find his publicist and was referred all the way from New York, got on a plane, and came all the way to California to Hollywood because he has the most amazing voice. And you can go to my website, or you can go to his website, Zephyrine. And he, nobody knew who he was. And we talked about creating albums. We talked about creating music. And he, he created it in the basement of his house mm -hmm. in Dubai, and then came all the way here and, and you know, sang uh, in New York and made a huge difference in his life and fulfilled a dream by finding the right person to help him make that dream come true. And it's all about the dream. And it's all about mm -hmm. he had the courage to mm -hmm. seek out help to help right. fulfill that dream. And that's what it's all about. Exactly. And he went out on a limb without a budget, being a father with two children and you know a real career that he had all mm -hmm. the way over there in India. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to make his dream come true. And he's actually just recorded his third album right now. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at a number of award shows to get him on to different award shows. And we Skype back and forth you know, to India or Dubai or where he's living at the moment. Mm -hmm. And you know, having the opportunity to do what he does um, to create his own dream. Is Great example. You don't have to be an A-lister, but if right. you want to get there or you want to promote something, a product, mm -hmm. or, um, certainly go see, uh, go see Denise. Now, yes. let's talk about the difference between your celebrity artists, your actors, and your nonprofits and, and those others you serve. Well, that's a really good point. For some reason, because I started a nonprofit organization myself five years ago, I have a heart and spirit. Wings, right? wings, wings of Love wings International. Of love. I have a heart and a spirit for nonprofits and what they go through and the struggle that it brings in, in bringing all the business aspects together of the company. And so what I found is that if I can give back, and that's my give back with my nonprofit clients, is an opportunity to help them um, get their name out there and do it the right way. And, using my resources. Yeah, love it. Yeah, That's so, beautiful. and then I have my corporate clients like um, Clean Tech Open, we're doing a big, I'm producing a big event for them. Their ninth an anniversary celebration is coming up and we're very, very excited about that. Sustainability, clean technology, find, finding, fostering, and funding uh, startup companies that make a difference in all parts of the world for sustainability. And so it's very, very interesting to the, the message is the same. The publicity angle can be different. You know, we're bringing in Hal Sparks. He's an MC. Or he's going to MC our event. Who's actually an, you know, celebrity entertainer mm -hmm. and comedian himself in his own right in his own TV. And we're bringing him in to kind of, you know, brought me in for the Hollywood celebrity factor next year. You know, maybe Ed Begley Jr., Leonardo DiCaprio mm -hmm. for the 10th anniversary. Mm -hmm. You know, thinking really big. That's great. Yeah, that's great. No, when do you have when together. do you have time to do anything? I I know I ran into oh, a Vistage event yes, during the yes, day, yes, so yes. you work during the day. Yes. You have clients during the day. At night, you're 
You're right. doing your thing on the right Well, topic. you know, it's a very interesting question because people do see me working a lot. I work 20 hours a day when I am without my children. I'm a single mom. And then when my children are with their dad, I work, I, I mean, I work when they're gone and then I have an opportunity to just have time for me, you know, on the opposite time with my kids and, mm -hmm. and doing my thing and going out to lunch and walking along the pier and, and taking our dog for a walk on the beach or whatever it is that we do. So my simple time is not as public. And mm -hmm. so people see the public, they see the red carpets, they see all the photos and think that's all I ever do. But mm -hmm. I do have my downtime and it's not public. It's, yeah. It can't yeah. be public. Yeah. It, it has will to be. be. Private. <laughs> people know oh no, I hope I never get that famous. One last thing: sales excellence, life abundance. That's my big thing. I um, know. I'm yeah. proud of you for what you're putting out there yeah, now. That's an, yeah. a nice new message, yeah. and I think that in terms of uh, sales abundance, you know, I look at at the aspect of we all can have an abundant life, and we can all bring in the money if that's what our dream and what we want to do. But that we have to do it with um, with integrity and and really truthfully, if we're really living our own reality and our own dream of what who who God intended us to be that will have an abundant life and it's not always about money but if you if you really really uh, are passionate about what you do one of the books I wrote about manifesting passion is if you're passionate about what you do it comes out and so for example the question you asked earlier I don't ever feel like I'm working it's mm -hmm. not work for me. I, I, as I share with some nonprofits, do it for free. Mm -hmm. Others, you know, I charge my retainer and find the mix in between that it's fun and if you really enjoy. Like I know you love what you do too, yeah. and it makes it easy. And you look great, by the way. Thank I love you. The, yeah, uh, you know, I got style I'm excited. A bit. I can't wait to uh, have you share with um, us how you just, how you selected that shirt today. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Yeah. Well, we'll um, we're going to jump to a quick break. We're going to have you back with the whole with the I'm whole group. I'm excited about yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Denise, Denise O'Brien, publicist and uh, CEO of Dome, Dome Entertainment. We're going to jump to a quick break, and we'll be right back.